Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Anything Goes. My name is Andrew Dika and today I'm proud to be at the famous Short Call Arena. Now, I interviewed this man a few hours ago on a pre-fight interview. We are here now, so proud of him. Third round, TKO, or would you want to call it a knockout? Because he didn't go. TKO, whatever he TKO. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, did this fella box James Hennigan? Yeah, he has, he has him in stop before and, and especially to get him to the body. That, that, that's something that we, we've, Martin's wanted him to get off. So um, I've been getting it in the gym and it's, and it's always nice to see Short come off in, in the ring. And not to focus on the negatives, but coming off a knockout loss to now getting a knockout win, it doesn't get more beautiful than that. No, I would have took anything tonight. It was just getting over that. We're fighting again. It, it, it's, it's this nervous day. What if it happens again? All them demons. And, and I just had a lot of baggage coming in. But, but you know, said this. Even Louis messaged me today off his own back. And it's not like we've been, we've been back and forth. He messaged me today and said, don't be thinking about none of that shit, mate. Just get it done today. And fair, fair, fuck, play to him. And that's what I went out and done. So... Nice one. If you see this, Louis, nice one meeting, and um, that's one of the reasons I got so much respect for him. But um, he's right. You got to just dust it off and go again. That that's been my message from the start of this. If, if it was um, if that doesn't define fighting and, and champions, you go, you get, you go through some shit. You get up and you go again. What what what, what does? I love to hear that. And then former partners and giving you respect, friends turned foes turned to friends. And like you said there, before we go on to that matchup. What are you most impressive tonight? And as I asked before, and I always ask, do you envision a knockout? Do you envision a stoppage? Do you want to be for your box? How good was it to get rid of all those demons that you were going through, all the problems, all the negatives, all the lows, <laughs> and get back to winning the ways, most importantly? It, it was just, um, it, it felt amazing. And, and, you know, for the support that I've had, I, 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 I've had two, two really extreme results in the past um, 12 months. I had an amazing win in Saudi, and then, a and then a devastating loss. So it was... Um, I'm being the cameraman, by the way. Yeah. Doing the Cheers, life. thanks it for that. Was, um, it was... So I had that win, I had loads of support, but then I had even more support in, in the last show, which was nice to um, give back to, to, to them people who still believe in me and to show that the, the right to do so. And how did you break down the performance today? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy with it. I've been a bit... Self-critical? Um, yeah, I'm, all, I'm always, <laughs> always self-critical, but um, as I said, I'm, 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 I'm happy with it. But I, I'm under, under no illusion tonight. Was what it was. I, I, I just, there should have been no way I, I, I would have come out with the win. But to get the win in that fashion, to get something, as I said, what we've been working on, in the, and to get it in the fight, I think that's, a, that's about the best I could have got it. So, yeah, I'm happy. And I appreciate you being a cameraman as well, doing both jobs, getting in the ring, getting a win, and then holding the phone for the lighting. So talk about that there. Not to focus on the negatives, but Saudi, one of the biggest nights of your life. You had so much backing, immense backing. Do you feel like you were the favourite in that fight? Was Louis the favourite, or was it even 50-50? No, I think... So I, well, I was confident. I was extremely confident coming in, but I think I think if you ask people who you probably people have probably picked Louis because he he probably fought high caliber fighters and and um, he stopped a good few lads. Even though, he, but, but, but I th I think coming off the momentum of my big win and then he, he just lost his belt to Sam Gilly, maybe I swung it my way a bit. But I, I, I'd love I'd, I'd love to fight that wrong and to, and to get the chance to to fight again because it was over so quick to, to really go at it with with with, with Louis. Um, but I'm the reason I've been shouting for it, and I'm still not shouting for it now. I believe you've got to earn that, and there's no way I, I deserve to to go back for that now. But if it does cross the, if I if our paths cross down the line, if it makes sense to both of us, that that is sort of I'd, I'd, I'd love to do. But apart from that, he's going on for the British next with Sam Gillian. I wish them both both good luck in, in, Who in that fight. Do you think wins that, or do you just want the best of both? Mate? Well, I think, well, Sam Sam beat Louis. I think he he, he done it. It wasn't the closest to fights yet. I, I, I think he won it probably just borderline comfortably. Um, but I think since the first fight he's had back since that is with me. And, and if you listen to him, he's got a nutritionist. He's he, he's um, changed his work around. He's proper going for it. So I think when they fight again, he'll get a different Louis. Um, so I think it'll be it'll be a. Um, You'll be able to take much from the from the first fight, you know what I mean? And it'll be more even up because both men are on winning ways. And after that one, do you want that rematch with Lou? And then could we see you in a fight with Sam Gilly? Yeah, definitely. You know, as I said, what happens? Them two have pushed on past me. Mm. So it's up to me to get my way back up there. And whoever's in front of me, whether it is one of them two, whether it's somebody else, then it is what it is. But right now, I'm, I'm not I'm not there yet. But it is something I'm, I've got my eyes on. Because they're, they're, they're going towards the top lane, that's where they want to be. And just to let you go, where, where do you want to go here? Is it another 50 50? Is it just another tick over? Or do you want to go for Southern Area and English <laughs> or Commonwealth? That's up, that's, that's up to me, team. That's just, you know, we had, we had a good win tonight, got the, got the cobwebs off, and 
put that loss behind me, so we, we'll just see where, where we land. And but they, but, but I want to stay, want to stay busy and active no matter what. Just finally, you know, what's the final message for the fans? Your scouts, your Liverpudlians, your British faithful, your worldwide army, and everyone that supports the Jack McGann army. Just thanks so much and the love I've had, uh, and, and in that in that defeat, which is when I'd, I'd, I'd expect it less, has really touched touched me heart, and 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 um, I've 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 seen. I've seen you with me via my time and there's fucking loads of them so um, I can't thank can't thank you all enough and, and it's up to me to keep it going for, for us and thanks again. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack McGann. God bless my man. Fuck.